a question for the MMA Junkie Radio team. What do you think is Sage Northcutt's ceiling in one championship after losing his debut in 29 seconds? Your three choices are A, he's still going to be an eventual champion. B, he's going to be a middle of the pack guy. C, <laughs> the struggle is real. Go ahead, Dan. I feel like criticism has always kind of been unfair on, on Sage. He was kind of rushed to the dance, if you will. But, uh, you know, as somebody who actually, you know, was picking picking guys like Bar Brian Barbary to, uh, to beat him and questioning the odds, I feel like I've had a pretty good idea on where Sage stands. So this actually didn't surprise uh, me, the recent results. So I'm going to just say the struggle is real. But but don't, don't, don't give up on Sage. He's a young kid, man. He's going to continue to get better. Okay. How about you guys? Middle of the pack. Want to know why? Yeah. Good, because I'm about to tell you. Here's what the deal is. Mm -hmm. He wasn't that bad in UFC if you look at his record. If you look at his level of opponents, it was up and down, hit or miss. To be a champion, you have to put together what are called streaks. And he was not very good at that. So I find him to just be stuck in that middle of the pack range because right. of that. Well, he's 23 years old, so the ceiling is still there for him to grow. Right. Uh, very athletic, very committed. I like the fact that he's tried stuff. He's gone to TriStar. He's gone to Team Alpha Male. Right. So he's not a a, a, uh, afraid to leave the comforts of home. Seems like college is on the back burner. He definitely has the means to afford good training partners and good coaches. But I remember when I saw him lose. When, when he's lost, he's just looked so average when he loses. You know what I mean? That's mm -hmm. the thing. It's not like he loses these wars or anything like that. And so to me, it tells me, wow, he's still got to work on fill in the blank. Wow, yeah, he needs to shore up, fill, fill in the blank. That's why the state champion is tough. And usually when I see a guy that's 11 and 3, right. went 6 and 2 in the UFC, and he's over at one championship, an organization that is just not as deep as the UFC, I would have normally said eventual champion, but I'm also going to go with middle of the pack because I just need to see him, uh, you know, not have these losses that are just disappointing to me. Uh, I, I think he could do a, a lot better. But again, focus on the fact that he's 23, so he still has time. He just needs to obviously take time because this one was a knockout loss. The other ones were submission losses mm -hmm. uh, to Barbarina and to Mickey Gall. So I'm going to go with middle of the pack. Do you, do you guys at all give him a possibility of eventual champion? I mean, I kind of lay, lay, lay that caveat. I mean, I'm not, I'm not throwing dirt on the grave by any means. Again, I feel like his criticism has always been unfair. But I, I, I don't believe he's he's – he's, uh, I've always believed he's been toward that – and bottom rung in the UFC is, is, a, is a really deceptive thing. It's, it's not that bad. It's, it's a, very few people get there in life. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I just believe that's where, where, where he's at. I believe he can get better, but I just believe that's where he's at right now. Yeah. All right, there's today's Daily Debate brought to you by the MMA Junkie Radio team. Let me just tell you the percentages of the votes and how they went. The struggle is real, 47%. Middle of the pack, 44%. Eventual champion, 9%. Ooh.